Life and Death Are Wearing Me Out is a 2006 novel by Chinese writer M.O. Yen, first published in Chinese and translated into English by Howard Goldblatt. The narrative spans the history of China from 1950 to 2000 through the eyes of a man reincarnated as various animals. A donkey, an ox, a pig, a dog, a monkey, and finally a human child. Mo Yen is the pen name of Guan Moi, his pseudonym means, don't speak, in Chinese because as a child and young man his parents warned him it was dangerous to express his views. Mo Yan's work is often banned and frequently pirated. His notable works include Red Sorghum and The Republic of Wine. The story begins in 1950. Ximin Nao, an apparently generous landowner in Gaomi County, Shandang Province, China, is executed so the land he owns can be redistributed as part of Mao Zedong's land reform movement of 1948. Once dead, Ximin finds himself in the underworld. Lord Yama, god of the underworld, tells him he has committed many sins, and tells him to admit he is guilty. Ximin refuses. Lord Yama tortures him so he will admit his guilt. Finally, Shimon asks for a chance to be reborn so he can have a chance to return to his villagers and ask them face to face what he is supposed to be guilty of. Lord Yama agrees, and Shimon is reborn as a donkey. He is once again in his village, surrounded by the people he knew as a man, but he cannot speak to them. Shimon Donkey retains his memories and consciousness, but like a donkey, he is stubborn. He is owned by Lan Lien, his adopted son in his previous life. He learns what has happened to the people he knew, his concubine, Ying Chun, is now married to Lan Lien, and together they are raising Ximin's son, Jin Long. They have a son of their own as well, Lan Jiefang, born on the same day as Ximin Donkey. Ximin's other concubine, Chiu Xiang, is married to Huang Tong, chairman of the village revolutionary committee. As a donkey, Ximin falls in love with a fellow female donkey, even warding off a wolf in an attempt to save her life. Shimon Donkey is killed, and soon finds himself reborn as Shimon Ox. Shimon Ox, also owned by Lan Lien, is soon beloved by the village for his strength. By now, communist reforms mean that most goods now belong to the village as a whole. Only Lan Lien continues to own his own parcel of land and to farm it himself. But village officials, including Jin Long, pressure Lan Lien to give up Shimon Ox and make him public property for the good of the village. Lan Liang loves his ox, but finally concedes. Ximin Ox, however, still has the mind of a man, so he continues to resist. He tries to attack the soldiers who take him. In return, he is tortured by a group of them, including Jin Long, his own son. Jin Long appears to get a sadistic pleasure from hurting and torturing the ox. Ximin Ox is so pained by this that he does not move or try to fight back. Tears stream from his eyes. Where other soldiers feel ashamed and stop beating the ox, Jin Long continues. Shimon Ox dies. Shimon reappears in the underworld, and Lord Yama tells him he will be reborn as a human in an idyllic, peaceful part of the world as compensation for the suffering he has endured. However, he is unreliable, Shimon is reborn as a pig belonging to Jin Long instead. But Shimon Pig is different from Shimon Ox and Shimon Donkey. He is further from his human self more concerned with his life as an animal than his past as a human and any perceived injustices towards himself and his family. When a plague strikes, Shimon Pig escapes the village to avoid death. He finds a new place to live in the mountains and becomes the leader of a group of wild pigs. His power grows, but he eventually steps down, which saves him from being killed in an attempted war between pigs and humans, which ends in the pigs being slaughtered. Instead, Shimon Pig dies saving village children from drowning. Next, Shimon is reincarnated as a dog belonging to Lan Jiefeng's son. Lan Jiefeng abandons his family when he suddenly falls in love with a woman 20 years younger, even though it means giving up the powerful position he has obtained. Shimon Dog does not approve of the suffering Jiefeng carelessly causes his son and wife. The affair ends when Jiefeng's lover dies. The opportunistic Jin Long also dies, killed by Huang Tong, a fanatical Maoist. Jin Long's death brings Jiefeng closer to Jin Long's widow, who was Jiefeng's first love. Ximin Dog dies at Lan Lian's home. When he returns to the underworld, Lord Yama tells him why he still has not been reincarnated as a human, he has too much hatred in his heart. 
Yama tells Shimin he still carries hatred with him that must be purged before he is born again as a human. Shimin is born again as a monkey. This time his life is very brief, and he seems even less connected to his human self, now several lives in the past. He lives for two years as Shimin monkey. Meanwhile, Jifeng's son Kaifeng falls in love with Pang Feng Wang. He does not realize the girl is his own cousin, Jinlong's daughter. Pang Feng Wang is thoughtless and cruel, but Kaifeng is blind to it all. When Kaifeng's family reveals that Pang Feng Wang is his cousin, he kills himself out of shame. Shimin Monkey dies, and finally is reborn as a human child, Lan Kiansui, the son of Kaifeng and Peng Feng Wang. This child is nicknamed, Big Head. He continues to retain memories of his previous incarnations, and with the combined wisdom of those years, begins to tell his story to Jiefeng. Life and Death are wearing Miao earned favorable reviews for its exploration of life under communist rule and has been called, hallucinatory realism. It often breaks the fourth wall, Mo Yen himself appears as a villager, mocked for his eccentricity. In 2009, the novel received the first ever Newman Prize for Chinese Literature. In 2012, Mo Yen received the Nobel Prize of Literature for his body of work. Though the decision was considered controversial for Mo's apparent reluctance to speak out against the frequent censorship or punishment of other Chinese writers by the Chinese government. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.